lights with the exhaust setup that we have right now. Which is loud. And we got the Clicks 1 and 7 days long tube headers and we're about to get even louder. Not only is it going to be even louder, but it's going to sound really deep, very aggressive, and sound even better. Like sound like true freaking muscle. I'm on the way right now to uh, this mechanic's house. I didn't go with a shop simply because they were charging up the ass. Hopefully, I can get y'all some footage of the install and then, you know, show you the main things. I'm not probably not going to get every single little thing. Hopefully, if I can even help out myself. This is just the sound of the car right now, man, before we even start putting these headers on. It was just all of a sudden. Um, I wasn't planning on bringing the car tonight, but you know, just plans change. It's like, you gotta do what you gotta do. So I'll put the camera on right now. Transferring over to the next day, guys, I dropped my car off. Um, Nelson, actually right here, he's actually taking the battery out already, and then the cold, the air intake on that side. Got this exhaust manifold pretty much out already. Uh, okay. I just gotta get the rest of the exhaust out so it actually slides out the back. Yeah. And I'm gonna show you guys like a little bit, most of the important parts, but not the whole thing because it can get a little bit lengthy for the video. And guys, as you can see here, he's already got some of the, uh, if he can focus up in there, you can see part of the uh, stock header. Gasket is already off, the header is already off. He's got some of these bolts out from the top and then some from the bottom. But especially taking this battery out here, that's what you gotta do. It definitely gets it out way easier. Try to get the passenger side stock header off. Um, what's stopping us is the starter that's connected to the transmission like literally up up, up top There's three but the starter is gonna have to come out because we cannot get this stock header off um, Without taking it off took off the motor mount bracket. It was right there, too um, And the header came off much easier. Um, we had to lift the engine up actually a little bit um, We took off the motor mounts. Okay guys, so we got putting the cooks in right now we put the stock gasket in we got the cook header up we just had to lift the motor up a lot more um a little bit not a lot more just a bit tad more the driver's side header is coming out right here guys as you can see okay what do you usually got to do to do that uh lock the steering wheel so you don't ruin your clock spring what we're doing right here we're putting it through Literally right on through into the seat belt right there. Boom. As I get right here on the driver's side, go down and go right about there to the steering shaft. As you guys can see, I think it's that one bolt that's hiding up on right there. You guys can see it. That you would have to disconnect and disconnect the steering shaft because to take the stock headers out. It'll give it more room to come out and also with the cooks one and seven eighths headers They're a little bit bigger. So the headers are gonna have to fit like in between the steering shaft Okay guys, we are currently hitting the steering shaft with a little bit of heat because it is not budging It is not coming out it's supposed to like spring out in the middle, but it's corroded a little bit So we're gonna hit it with some heats. We still could not disconnect the steering shaft So instead the motor mount bracket that was right here we disconnected the motor mount bracket on each side. There's four bolts. With removing the bracket, it allowed us to take off the stock headers. We took the stock gasket off on this side. Um, I w a lot of people recommend what I'm putting in is the stock gasket from Ford. Um, throw those back in there. They fit well with the Cooks. Uh, we ended up having uh, Nelson, he took it off from inside of the car instead of outside. And he's got the actual the Cook header in on the driver's side. Now he's just working on getting another stud the last stud in on the driver's side um, bolted up on in there. Uh, the last stud was hitting the Cook's header, so we had to go to the store and get another stud. This wouldn't allow the header to actually sit flush, so Dorman sells these studs, which are much shorter. Oh snap, I keep dropping them out. <laughs> um, which are much shorter, and you won't have clearance issues with yeah. putting the Cook's headers on the. Okay. And the size, their size. 10 by 1.25. 10 by 1.25. There we go. 10 by 1.25. See, the steering shaft right there does go through the cook's header um, to fit, so it's gonna have to come out. And then we, you drop, you just drop the uh, camera on this side. Uh, on both sides. Just, oh, on just both so sides. That it would come down evenly. Uh, okay. It's heavy, like heavy, heavy. No, it's not bad. Okay. The motor wasn't bolted to it, so. The motor was up in the air, yeah, and the cross member was down because since I had the motor mounts out, I was able to jack the motor up high enough 
and have no stress on the cross member when I had it down. Okay. So that was love. Yeah, uh, put all the bolts in. Now we're about to start the car. Open headers, which is for once, I never did that. But then we're gonna see um, if we got an exhaust leak um, just to make sure everything's tightened down correctly. And Nelson said basically to see if that, if the gasket is gonna be moving and here for like a ticking noise. When I do headers, so I'll recommend, um, not now, but like in about a week. Yeah. Uh, just bring the car back by so we could just go through all the bolts one more time. Cause uh -huh. once it heat cycles, everything expands it'll loosen up again yeah so then we'll do a, a second cycle on all the tightening and then we, we should be fine all right guys we are about to start her up open headers basically it's just uh open open headers like you see it right there is not connected all the way back so just the headers Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna assemble the uh, mid pipe right here. Um, the mid pipe we're gonna assemble, I actually got the old pipe right here. My high flow cats that we take off, we took it off, and the X pipe, I'm gonna sell those. So if any of you are interested. All right guys, so by opening that up, we did it, but we are now able to get the uh, X pipe to fit. It went on that side? Yeah. Okay, cool. Transitioning again guys, it's been the next day. I couldn't help Nelson finish up the head, but he has finished up installing the headers, the hypo cats, and the mid pipe on the car. But however guys, there is, um, the mid pipe is not all the way connected simply because where the X pipe connects, it was welded. I had to cut it off. I didn't have like a clamp. So we are about to take the car to the exhaust shop right now. And when we're actually about to experience like the full potential outflow of the car and see what it sounds like. Uh, this car freaking sounds amazing. I haven't floored it, I haven't done anything freaking crazy with the car. I can still drive the car with without a fresh tune because the car is actually performing, you know, riding really good and really smooth. Gosh, it is extremely hot up in here. This car has been sitting for a couple of days. <laughs> guys we got the o2 sensor heater circuit um what else two of them system two lean system two lean uh yeah so the tune after i get all this stuff situated um i am gonna hit up lund dude guys this car sounds like a complete race car still don't have i gotta skip to third i still don't have second gear as you guys can see i made it to my Shop Chicago mufflers over here in the Merrill's Park area. Thankfully, surprisingly, um, they're not busy. Houdini is up on the lift. We're about to look under, um, get a little bit more insight what's going on under there. The last video, this is where I took, I got my high flow cats installed here. And my boy and my guy right here, he was really enjoying revving up the engine. If y'all the OGs, if y'all remember that. All right guys, so this is what we're dealing with right now. Um, we're not connected right here by the old x -Pod. We got everything assembled right here for the headers. I just had the AC on, that's probably why it's dripping. A lot of water's been dripping out of my car lately. But we just need this right here connected and we'll be all good to go. set now it's time to get the start on man and let's see what we listening to right now let's see really excited to see what this thing sounds like out of the back all right let's start up Yo, holy snap. 
Yeah, bro. These cooks heard us. Y'all know we about to have some fun, man. Y'all thought I had the loud exhaust set up already. Now we just got even louder over here. <laughs> Thank you, man. I always appreciate it. All right. Ooh, we guys. Let's let's wrap it up a little bit. Oh my God, bro. The engine is breathing now. Blutini is fucking breathing now. Bro. Oh, Blutini is breathing now. As we sit inside the interior, guys, for the most part, it's not loud whatsoever. The cook tatters, high flow cats, to three inch X pipe, resonator delete, muffler delete, basically like straight all the way back. I'm yet to, you know, floor the car and make this car freaking scream all the way at the top of these high RPMs. All right, guys, we're about to pull up at my boy Omar's house. Oh, look at that beast, man. This dude don't post no more videos. Fucker Lopez 510. What up, what up, what up? Mr. What what up? What's going on, the owner, the owner of the V6. Hey, y'all trying to hear this? Yes, sir. It sounded like nice. it's damn, bro. Like every single time I step on it, bro, it's just like holy shit. Like nice. it sounded like yours sounded now. Good. Nah, you know, still we, sounds better. Your, boy, get your ass out of here, boy. Hey, hey, hey. He thinks his sounds better, but I got the cooks. You got fucking uh, stainless works. Stainless works. His screams at the top, but this dude's transmission is completely trash right now. Uh, we're both having problems. Y'all haven't seen him in the videos in a minute. We haven't been seeing any music or nothing like that, really. Yo, I haven't said anything really? in the videos, bro. Why are you exposing bro, me? You, bro, because your ass ain't gonna post them anyway, so it don't even matter. <laughs> you got to build by Ben Cam. Yeah. Ben Calamer. Then this dude messed it up. Didn't you just get your okay. trans rebuilt and look hey, at you? Hey, you, you messed yours up like two months later, dude. It's been a year for me. Hey, mm -hmm. fuck it up. We, we, it's the MT-82. Well, I don't even MT know if it's MT-82. It's just probably the driver at this point now. <laughs> from outside and looking at my car I don't do that often it looks like so damn good and it sounds amazing holy gosh Lee hey where you going you need to come back hey, you came back too they gone quick hey that thing sound amazing though man um we got a lot of work to do y'all uh, this week is gonna be filled with videos on videos um hopefully I still have to take the transmission out and Omar actually just took his transmission out he sent it down the street to the shop that rebuilt my trans last year so I might do the same thing they're gonna take a week to rebuild yeah. what gear happened to yours what happened? fourth, fourth I tried gear. a no lift shift and I didn't do that for me. and he blew it you got to build by Matt Calamer tried a no lift shift two months later blew it blew it one year later in my car I tried to freaking shift real quick in the second gear over a bump blew it 47 pound injectors we're gonna go e85 we're gonna be on this guy's level and then i'm gonna have to, i'm gonna be installing a 90 millimeter throttle body which he does not have um it's gonna be a great comparison oh, today. Hold up, hold hey no 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 hold ain't no hold up because you coming here with your shit let me talk hey, my shit talk your shit let talk, talk, talk your shit, shit because guess what guess what let me talk you have no shit to talk shit. boy you don't want to put no guns out boy you don't you don't want to see who been in the gym this guy said 90 millimeter my, <laughs> my 90 millimeter throttle body is gonna beat me yeah you swear I'm gonna gap you, bro. Still wearing that bogus ass Summit racing hat. You don't even fucking shop at Summit. You probably found it on the middle of the damn highway. Boy, look at that hairline, boy. You look like a fucking coconut head ass. Hey, we gone. <laughs>